Good evening. Tonight's video is very proudly sponsored by Manscaped. Now, Manscaped cater to more than 10 million men currently. Gentlemen who want to try and take pride in their appearance, that maybe they want to maintain the crown jewels with something a little bit more sophisticated and luxurious than the kitchen scissors maybe they were using before. So if you're tired of cutting and nicking yourself, then I think Manscaped is the solution. They've sent me over the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, and it is super sleek, super cool packaging. It actually sits at the heart of their performance package, which is stocked full of goodies. Now the lawnmower, I have to take you through this because it's actually insane. Amazing. This thing actually is ridiculous. Okay, let's talk a little bit about it. LED light, making sure that you can see where you're trimming. Okay, might seem obvious. I've never seen this. Waterproof, the blades can be used wet or dry. And it really does feel amazing in the hand. Up to 60 minutes runtime. It also has a quick charge function if you want to just jump in the shower, take care of some business before a date, maybe. Now it quite literally is two blades for the price of one. The trimmer for getting off the worst of it and the foil blade for giving you that silky smooth finish. And these are really quite remarkable luxury in the palm of your hand. Now they've actually upgraded the trimmer blades. And these are longer, wider, and rounded teeth that cut through here with ease. And if that wasn't enough, the blades incorporate a technology called skin safe. Okay, so it's super tough on the hair, very, very delicate to the skin. It's charged very simply with USB-C or QI wireless charging. Super handy and Manscaped really did think of everything when designing these products. Click the link below, head over and enter the code ARTICULATE. You get 20% off the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra and enjoy free shipping. If you purchase the performance package, you also get two free gifts. One of them is a really cool set of boxers and the other is a travel bag that is also perfect for the Manscaped collection. Enjoy the video. Take care. This line is secure, but I'll keep this brief. Many of our facilities were raided. We lost three manufacturing houses in New York, two in Shanghai, one in Paris, Two in Frankfurt. Production has been ceased in 84% of our facilities. Naturally, this has had a huge impact on available goods. We do, however, offer a VVIP solution to the current shortage. Take that. 
Welcome to the Arctic Circle. Not my first choice for a manufacturing facility, or rather less of a facility and more of a small laboratory. Let me take your coat. Paul, can you take this? Good. Congratulations for making the trip. It isn't ideal, but beautiful nonetheless. Some of my clients have never even seen snow before. And there's a quiet stillness. The good news is that the cacao we've been able to source this far north of Finland is of surprisingly high quality. We've had to abolish the grading system we used prior because it just doesn't apply to the means in which we're working. Nevertheless, I think you will be think you will be quietly surprised. On the variety we're able to offer. Now in typical fashion, the briefcase to the left of your chair is a mirror image with this briefcase. Pull up the latches and in case you are new, my offering mirrors that of yours. We circle the briefcase. Sample. You tell me what you would like to add to your order. And before day's end, it'll be created for your collection. My team can assess with the transportation, getting it across the borders. Where's your final destination? Mm. We have a small team there. We can facilitate the move. Of course, transportation is included in the price. Now, let me pour you a glass of water before we start. Take one myself. Finnish water is used by many of the finest hotels. I took a first class train service once. They were offering Finnish water. They said it was the cleanest, the tastiest water in the world. I agreed. Cheers. It's a nasty business. We, uh, well, let's get eating. We can talk later. I'd like to start with the red colored cylinder. Put the latch. Now this is sealed for a reason. This 
chocolate made with poured fresh milk. The milk is folded into the mix and while finding milk chocolate now is near impossible. If you were to stumble across something from what used to be our competitors, it would be made with powdered milk. layered in and a soft fondant like mixture is created and it's left to heat for just a short period of time and it's left with a richness and a velvety finish you can have as many as you like we put five pieces in the cylinder but Spare the appetite. We have a lot to get through. I put you down for a box of the finished chocolate. I also have something extra special. Something new. My team, regardless, or perhaps in spite of our current troubles, managed to create something I don't think you'll have ever seen before. Now, move on to the glass file next to the red. Doomlays. Some come with an outer foil. This is usually more to do with where it's being shipped to. If they're scanned, we file wrap it. milk chocolate layer. Warmed fudge. A rich sugary sweetness coats the mouth and you're reminded of what it was like when sugar was in abundance. Particularly sweet. Incredibly satisfying. Dumleys are something of a delicacy. But in the grand scheme of our manufacturing process, And comparing the milk chocolate with the tumbling, one is very refined, curated. We take time with the process, but the tumbling. masses of sugar very little requirement for care and time it's boiled 
and the sugar is brought to a heat and left with a nice syrup and infuse it with some caramel notes and sticky fudge then it's submerged in a thin layer of milk chocolate and you're left with this richness it's beautiful in its simplicity really quite beautiful <laughs> well we We made a mistake. We attribute a large portion of all our revenue to maintaining political officials, individuals of authority that allows us to operate in the manner that we do. Well, two officials in question got particularly greedy we reminded them how precarious their situation really was and unfortunately one of the two jobs didn't go as well as it should have and uh, we had to leak and he was able to get the word out so we lost some traction we put a hold in manufacturing relocated HQ to this beautiful place. The lawyers are working it out. Everything in corporate world has a solution for the right figure. The right cost. But needless to say, here we are anyway. Now, we actually had another Doomly variant with a little fruit in the center, but let's take it a bit easier. Let's not jump right into the second Doomly. Let's take this little canister here with these little red balls. I think. You might like these. You could be forgiven for thinking they're little cherries. But no. <laughs> what you're tasting? a base flavor of licorice coated generously in a cherry crust mm. many people don't enjoy licorice it can be too sweet or too overpowering but the secret to licorice is getting that balance right so it doesn't and instead, it's just this sweetness, this aroma that amalgamates beautifully with the cherry. Quite wonderful, really. Of course, we knew these would be a, a favorite for many. Mm. Okay, allow me to show you the first of two sweetened beverages we've included in your package. This little pod is something we're calling liquid chocolate. Two little cups. No, this doesn't sit inside the briefcase. This 
is something something of a taste sensation. This is a warm water. We managed to reduce the chocolate into a powder form that reacts with water. And given the cold conditions that we find ourselves in, or at least the cold environment, the hot chocolate um, is wonderful. There's a with a warm beverage but add in a sweetness and that rich chocolate flavor I think it's quite remarkable we can only sell you uh, about half a kilo yeah it's difficult to produce and not particularly efficient given the limited supply we have to sugar at the moment. Cacao is less difficult to source bizarrely in Finland even though it doesn't grow here. We have a source that's been more than fair with us. Now, we're getting hungry. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to, maybe this caught your eye. The cookie. In the center of this cookie we have a little biscuit. And the flavor of the biscuit is actually allowed. They're sealed. <laughs> mm. Now what you're tasting here is a very small hint of macadamia. into the flour a little bit of that biscuit and it settles together absolutely perfectly on the tongue 
the chocolate chips mm. supporting that biscuit mm. cookies used to be a huge market a long time ago before we decided to banner access to sugar this is a homage from us to better days well, if you want the shipment for day's end we can provide six maybe seven cookies of that size more if you're smaller If we're talking cup size, we could maybe get you uh, two dozen. Sure, there's something attractive about the novelty size of those big cookies. Bigger isn't always better, but I think in this case, it certainly is. Now, let's move on. The casing with the red and yellow flecked. This is another homage to days gone by. Now this is something called a dime. Originally. Beautiful. <laughs> that initial crunch supplemented by this almost burnt toffee flavor it makes for such a unique flavor profile which is why we went to such great lengths to acquire the license and the ingredient for the dime bar as we call them they're chunk size in this case we do sell them as full size bars but again given your time constraints we'd be limited to the smaller bite size. We can put it back together for you, no problem. If it suits you, we could actually have an additional package brought to you. Maybe Tuesday next week might work. We can have a carrier package flown out to you. No issue there. Security guaranteed. Good. I knew you would like the time bar. A little bit of a hit or miss, historically speaking, but in the absence of sugar, people uh, are reminded just how great these things really are. Now, regardless of our manufacturing issues. Business has been exceptional. Our clients are enjoying flavors and sweetness that um, improves year on year. We're very process orientated, continually pushing improvement. Our head of manufacturing, she is, uh, she is magnificent. Understands GIT in a way I've never even seen. GIT just means just in time manufacturing. It's a goal that any large scale manufacturing tries to aim for. It means that you're balancing how much stock you keep on site and keeping that 
space relatively small, and having your suppliers delivering to you just as you need it. it means your timing has to be impeccable, your schedule followed and understood. The red conical flask. This Small wafer bar. Three layers of chocolate. Originally designed with just a single layer. We found it on the wrong side of crunchy. But now, redesigned perfected. This doesn't actually have a name yet. There's a prototype bar that we're unimaginatively calling Crunch Bar. Not the sweetest thing that we offer, but the crunch seems to open up the taste buds and it gives the illusion of almost a biting sweetness, which shouldn't be present given the sugar content, but really quite rich, surprisingly light. Very tasty. Mm. We'll add them in. Now, the small cylinder. Now, you might recognize these little balls as being similar to the licorice cherry. These are a soft, salted licorice. Covered in a coffee milk chocolate. And those little crunches Actually, very small flecks of coffee bean. A Kenyan blend, twice roasted. And it affords these little coffee rounds, as they're called, the most delightful flavor profile. Entirely unexpected from something so small. And again, that licorice underpin. This sensation. One of our finest works, in my opinion. Really, um, really quite magnificent. Cheers. Mm. Now, before we move on, Here's our second beverage to discuss. Now, this is a Moomin smoothie. A Moomin smoothie. Pear and raspberry. You have one of these in your case. Just 
just pierce the film. used with fructose and while it was thought for hundreds of years that fructose was actually a healthy form of sugars some idiot decided later that sugar is sugar so he thought it would be a nice healthy inclusion in our offering. We do two flavors, banana and pineapple, or pear and grape. I will admit the banana and pineapple is my favorite, but the pear and grape has a more or higher shock value to it. Mm. You're very welcome. Okay, we have a few more to go. In the center of your suitcase, you will find these are what's called. time to get this process right. We were finding some inconsistencies and that the bar at the beginning was well marbled. At the end of the bar we were finding a fall off in flavor. And it's imperative for us that you have a consistent taste throughout. You can have new flavors appear as you're chewing but each bite should be the same as the last, and at the very least, you should have some kind of expectancy. We're finding some, some issues, but like always, we sat down and we worked through them. 
Now, the final licorice round. Here, I think you will be you will be very pleasantly surprised because and underneath the crisp before the licorice you will find a yogurt and how we've infused this triple layer into such a small round it surprises even myself the taste sweet fruity and with that creaminess that we've come to expect from our products quite a quite an impressive piece I must say now I promised you another dormy This takes the conventional and it gives us something uh, unexpected. Mm. new wave of blueberry that is actually quite magnificent if I do say so myself now of course the thing about dolmes or dumbles I call them dolmes is that they have an ability to just wipe anything you were eating prior and replace it with this coated sweetness that is just decadent. Mm. Amazing, really. Mm. How are you doing? is actually my perhaps not most favorite in terms of flavor delicious regardless but perhaps I'm most proud of what we were able to achieve in this glass vial you will see two bottles Each bottle is made with the finest Chilean chocolate. And at the center of this hollow bottle is a liqueur. This is pina colada and it is absolutely beautiful. And they're opened just by Once you unpeel it, you will find a little bottle. Now you can eat this however you like. I like to bite the top off and drink the contents. <laughs> the chocolate, by the way, is absolutely delicious. Mm. Absolutely. 
fills the sense with an alcohol that is pleasant but not present and there's no point is the alcohol overpowering but it complements the chocolate of the bottle such a remarkable little invention feel free to also try the espresso version mm. quite a an interesting design one of my artists came and said listen I have this idea why can't we build a hollow chocolate bottle and fill it with a liqueur and I said because no one's ever thought about doing that let's do it and we did I know you would like them. <laughs> Pleases me to see you happy and relaxed. You're the VVIP. You should congratulate yourself more often. Now, our penultimate. The red and white confectionery. Paper wrapped this time. This is a spearmint sugar snap. Now, without biting, this will last for five to six minutes. But if you crack down on it, Spearmint sugar snaps are a wonder by design, but even more so by execution. They are quite difficult to process at scale, which, in all honesty, is a presence, a constant in what it is that we make, trying to move things at scale. So we can't offer a very large amount of the spearmint sugar snaps. But I think we can get 18, maybe 19 to you in your bundle. Perfect. They are, they are very, very tasty. Now, now, the finale is something... of an interesting nature. In fact, it's quite divisive because not everyone enjoys these or doesn't enjoy one of the constitute parts. But I believe that amalgamated into the resin of this little ensemble be hard pressed to find anyone in the world that isn't completely enamored with these. This is a chocolate pencil with a strip of marzipan and a point of marzipan. This has to be tried.
that's infused to the center. Add a finish and be able to create such an interesting and complicated flavor profile is something that we're very proud of. Marzipan is an almond based flavor and for some it's not particularly enticing but what we've produced here every single person that has taste tested this has said it might be the finest work we have ever made and of course I take a great deal of pride in our work and the presentation that we put into it and of course it means the world to me that you can share this time with us and we're able to make the trip out here in the first place and we absolutely believe in our product but to see people moving heaven and earth to acquire it just shows that 